um, a case in a box. I'm just going to show you three different ways that you can do it. So I've got a brown suitcase here. I'm in the process of making a little scene. So you can see on the background I've just painted with uh, acrylic paints and I've used just a piece of a thick piece of cardboard for the base, um, an old piece of driftwood, piece of rope, um, some little stones. I'm making a little house here just from a cardboard box. I've cut the little windows out and that's going to sit here. So I'm going to make a little thatched roof to put on it as well. Um, and then within that you can add little little characters. Here's a little one I've got made out of wood here, but you can make them from all sorts of things. Um, so that's one out of a case. I'm also going to show you one that's been made out of box. So this is a little mini theatre I've made just out of a cardboard box. That was just a, an old wine box and all I've done is I've cut the front out of it. You can see. Um, I've also cut the top out of it. I'll show you the reason for that in a moment. And I've just made some little curtains here. Now I made these out of a piece of felt, but any sort of fabric that you might have, you can even make them out of paper if you want. And once you've got that, you can add other bits to it. Like you can add scenes to it, backdrops. You can see I've got a pea stick and a piece of paper, which I've just painted a scene on, and that can fit in there. And I might want to change the scene for something else, so I can have another one there. And there's a third one. So three different backdrops, and if I was doing a performance with this, a little mini performance, I could just remove them and, and change over where I was. Um, some little furniture, any little bits. Now you can make these out of cards, or sometimes you can pick up these little mini things. And within that, I'm going to show you how to make a little mini paper person that can sit there <laughs> made really simply um you can make little beds out of cardboard you can even make little trees um so the same principle goes whether or not you're working with a, a shoe box a cardboard box or a suitcase now i have also got a little shoe box here which i'm going to show you i'm going to show you it slightly differently i thought it'd be good to show you how you could do a shadow puppet in there um, so I'll show you that now and then I, after that I will show you how to make some little tiny figures that you can add into this. So here we have just an ordinary shoe box and there's lots of ways you can utilise this. You could make, like the box theatre I showed you earlier, um, you could make a box one with this. And simply, if you were doing that, all you would need to do would be to cut out a square here and cut a section out of the top. But this time I'm going to show you how to make a shadow theatre. So what you need to do is have your box and have your lid. This piece here is going to be the base of your shadow theatre and this piece here is going to be the staging area. So what you want to do is you want to draw on the piece that you're going to cut out. I'd leave a little lip, maybe about a centimetre all the way around. So just Draw yourself in there, and if you've got a Stanley knife, that's the best way to get into these. But do remember, put something underneath it, so you're not cutting up your tables. Um, the sharper the better. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky to get into. So once you're in there, once you're in there, you can even use scissors. But get yourself in there, bad well, and all the way down. Yeah. So you're just cutting the front out of this, the whole front. Yeah. Okay, that's us ready now. So once you've got that done, you can spend a bit of time making it a little bit neater. Then all you need to do is get a piece of paper, um, any sort of paper, thin paper, Tissue paper would even work. I've got here a piece of grease proof, proof paper which works really well. And the reason being, you want a piece of paper that, as you can see, that's slightly translucent. And that means it'll work much better when you put your shadow puppets inside. So I'll put that on the side for a moment. Now, the piece that you've cut off is good. You can, you can cut bits out of there. Or if you've got some black card, then that's really good for silhouettes. 
Um, once you've got that, all you need to do is glue it into place. I would use a glue, something like Yoohoo would work really well. Um, just glue it flat and then you can trim it, trim it off and make it really neat. Um, I won't do that at the moment, just so, just so I can show you the next stage. So once you've got that, you can put it on your little stage area there. You can either go that way round or you can go that way round. Now, you can cover the whole stage in any sort of paper you like. You might want, you might like some nice uh, wrapping paper over it, or you can do it in fabric, some felt, um, velvet would work really well. Um, just use white glue, PVA glue, if you're doing that. Um, finish it off, you can even put some little bits of trim. You, If, if it's your own theatre, you can want to put a little um, piece at the top with your, maybe your little your name or a logo, anything you want there. And once you've done that, you can make some shadows to go inside it. Now, all you need is some form of light. So um, a torch would work or a little desk lamp. I've got one here, which I'll just show to you. I've just got, I have just got an ordinary little clip light. And that's really good because if you're doing this on the table, you can clip onto the table. I'll blind you all for a second. Um, if you've got a big enough clip actually it turns out my clip's not quite big enough here but you can see if you put it inside your box then you can make your little shadow puppet so i've cut a little window shape here just out of there whoops a bit glary here hold on maybe a little bit too bright for this one um come back a little bit you can see there now i have cut that shape just with a stanley knife out of black card but if you wanted to put some color in it now this is uh, lighting gel now those folders that you get the folders that you get to put all your work and things in the ones that are see-through are really good because they're quite strong and you can use colors from that you can also use quality street wrappers they make great um little colors that you can add on to things i'll just show you how that works there you can see the color you get the color there so you can cut characters from that um any sort of puppet that you might want to, a little puppet shape, or you can even cut little silhouettes of um, trees, any bits and pieces that you want, and you can change them around. Now, if you're, putting your, if you're making puppets and putting them on a rod, then the very best way to do that is to stick, if I just tear this off and imagine this is a, maybe a puppet a char a character, then if you put your stick on a right angle, then you'll find it works much better because it means that you can get rid of the rod in the shadow. So if I do this with a little piece of tape and then just keep a piece out like that and stick it on and put another piece over the top, then that's a really good way to put your rods onto your puppets. So once I've got that at the back view is I'm putting things in and out of the light. Now that is a, a little tip, is if you go closer to the screen, it's smaller. And if you pull your shadows away towards the light, then they get bigger. So it's a good way to, opposed to jerking things in and out of the screen, it's a good way to fade them out and fade them in again. So that's definitely one way that you can use that. So that would be a shoebox theatre, a shadow theatre. But if you were doing it, from the cardboard box like I showed you before or if you had a big shoe box and you wanted to do one like this then I'm going to show you how you can make a really simple little paper figure. Well these are fun to make and really quick this took a couple of seconds to make. Um, if you wanted to then spend a bit of time on it you could put hair on it, you could, you could dress it, put costumes on it. Um, another way of doing it is using a little paper egg that you can make, you can cover in paper mache, um, the little, those little polystyrene eggs you get um, in any of the pound shops seem to have them for, in their craft departments. You can add some hair, some little pins, make good eyes, make a little costume. Um, all I've done is I've used some wire here to be the hands. Or you could even use something like um, a dolly peg, uh, one of these little pegs here and you could dress that up as well. You could make a great character. But it's all about the storytelling and about what you're going to do with it. So I'm going to show you how to make a really quick, simple one. Um, all you need is a stick. I'll steal this one back off of here. <laughs> so I'm going to just screw up a piece of paper. Make a, a bit of a head shape there. 
I'm going to put my stick that's got a piece of tape on it into that just to keep it all together and I'm going to keep adding to it. Now this is where it's great if you've got some masking paper, ma masking tape. Um, that works really well, just especially, it's usually about the same colour as your paper, but it means that if you decide that you want to put a bit more work into it and do some paper mashy on top, it means that everything's going to stick, which is really handy. So, just keep building up. Now the reason I've got the stick on the top, obviously, is because I'm going to drop it into my theatre space and I don't want my hand to get into the way of it. Um, so there, I've got the basics for that. And then, I just keep building it up, really easy. So at this stage I'm going to make a waist and put this tape on that. And now I could cut that and make it into a, a skirt or a dress. Or if I wanted legs on my puppet then I just cut into it and separate them out them together like so and then once again I'm using my tape I'm just using my tape and scrunching up a little bit of a of a knee joint and I can make a foot and I can carry on going like that and when it comes to making the arms if you take another strip let's see and make a little hole in it and slide it down scrunch that bit over the puppet's head first of all and use a bit of tape around the neck and once you've got that, then keep going and make your arms. So it just keeps it all in one piece. So you can make your arms from there, another arm over there. And you get the idea of it. So you basically, you spend a bit of time and using the tape, you can do all your little joints. You can even make a little hand area. But I would keep it quite simple. There's something um, quite charming about the whole thing of the the paper forming the face and the, the light and the shadows of it and that's how it works. So um, there you go, there is a little scene and you can imagine you could do all the characters for whatever play that you wanted to do and you could add some little theatre lights, so you can make some little lights from um, little tiny torches that you could put in the side of it, um, you could add anything you wanted if if you put everything on sticks you can lift it in and out and change it all around and if you're doing your shadow one then you can also um put some objects in there you can use things like um forks make a really good in shadow um oh i can't <laughs> I'll move this over a bit it's so bright but i think it's just because it's on the camera it's even brighter but you know, like objects, so you don't always have to make everything. You can use some objects to form shadows. Oh, let's see if I get, oh, there we go, that's better. So you could do a whole scene with these. You can add, um, oh, there's some, there's some glasses. Basically, it's down to your imagination. The more imaginative you are, then the better it's going to turn out. So um, I hope you enjoy making your little mini shoebox theatre.